Well, this weekend's incident is one of many domestic violence situations that have played out in the River Region in recent months. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Avant continues our Team 12 coverage tonight. She spoke with the Family Sunshine Center, which works to end domestic violence, about the challenges they face. The Family Sunshine Center has been helping those in domestic violence situations for over 40 years. They have a 24-hour crisis hotline, residential services, and a safe center for those facing abuse to escape to. While this center typically doesn't deal with cases like Judge Hardwick's, families everywhere face abuse, which they are trying to eliminate. We want people to feel safe in their homes and um, where they work and where they go to church. Um, and so anytime that there is an incident of violence, um, it really kind of sends our radars up. Right now, executive director of the center, Tay Knight, says domestic violence cases are consistent in their center. They typically see an uptick around the holidays, a decrease in January, and the need is going back up this month. Year over year for the last, I'm going to say, three years, our crisis calls have been, um, been really consistent over the course of the year. To eliminate violence, Knight says they focus on the younger generation who faces or has a loved one affected by domestic violence at home. We are working with in our school systems through school based therapy to try and help those individuals overcome that trauma. Um, and then hopefully the tools and the techniques that that we're able to help them learn um, gives them the ability to um, to engage in healthier relationships. However, Knight says helping victims has gotten harder in recent years as funding gets cut at the federal level. We have cut services in the past, um, but right now we are still trying to um, hold on to all of our all of our programs and services. The center started receiving funding cuts back in 2020. Leaders say they've had to reduce resources in Dallas, Perry, and Wilcox County. Mark. They do good work, Julia. Thank you so much. If you or someone you know is in need of the Family Sunshine Center's services, be sure to check out Julia's online story at WSFA.com.